In today's video, we're gonna go over this blender add-on that is all about dynamically placing and scattering multiple objects in your scenes using physics, making it a bit quick and simple process. So from what I can see, now you can say goodbye to the hassle of manually applying physics to each object and messing it around with the simulation settings. Because using the physics placer add-on, you can dynamically place objects in your blender projects in a short period of time. Add-ons like this exist in other software. But this one is really great with Blender, since it utilizes physics simulations that run in real time, allowing you to easily achieve realistic dynamic placements without basically the headache of trial and error. Generally speaking, it is quick, intuitive, and delivers good results every time. Now, let's talk about some practical scenarios where physics plays your shines and makes your workflow much smoother. For example, when you are working on architectural scenes or scenes that contain lots of objects that collide or stack with each other, you can only imagine that placing them one by one is gonna be time consuming because you will have to ensure that each object is gonna be aligned properly with the floor, rotated correctly, and positioned in the right spot. Plus, you would have to ensure that your objects don't collide and they are not intersecting. So imagine the wasted time spent arranging scattered pens, fruits, or toys, or anything else. But thankfully, this add-on can do that for you. So after navigating to your M panel window and locating your physics placer add-on, you will be greeted with a simple compound UI that offers you all the tools you need in a small little panel. The first step is to choose the objects that you want to position dynamically. For example, I have a bunch of primitive shapes ready to be scattered on the ground. After selecting my models, I'll simply press the selected objects. This action places my objects in a special collection and spawns a force field in my project, which I'll be using to attract and move my selected objects. Now, I will select any object that I want my selections to collide with and press set collision. Now, I just need to play the timeline and position the force field however I like, which will attract all of my active objects. Now you will notice that the objects automatically interact with the collision objects and everything happens in real time. There are a couple of things that you can do. So you can just position your objects in a spot and simply press and hold the button U on the keyboard. And what this does is that it makes your objects fall into the ground by adding gravity which will position your objects dynamically automating the whole tedious process. Another thing that you can do is move your force field in a motion and then quickly release your objects by hitting the U button. This will give your objects a bit of velocity which can give you interesting results. And finally, after simulating your objects and finding the sweet spot, all you have to do is hit the bake button. The simple action removes all the physics and unnecessary setups, leaving you with your objects positioned exactly where you want them to be. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in this great but small add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.